Hello and welcome to Antichrist Metal Zin. And today we interviewing Alexei from Helm. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, okay. So, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Yeah, sure. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, uh, in a week, your sixth album, Skid and Stam, will be released. First of all, congratulations. Uh, this is your first album in five years. Right. Uh, your first right. long play album, I mean. Like you... Right. Okay. Uh, you talked about uh, new album in uh, some interviews in 2018, uh, yeah. like two years ago, but uh, anyways, Kit and Stam will be released only in November. Why so? Uh, you know, it's really hard to say for me now. Uh, we spent a lot of time with the uh, arrangement, I guess, and uh, maybe it took so long because we spent more time in the uh, studio than we expect for the moment. And uh, secondly, I guess, we are looking for a label because our uh, previous label uh, just finished our cooperation because it's it, it was closed actually yeah the guy just changed his mind for everything and i don't know why but just he finished everything with uh, related to music itself yeah and uh, uh we just uh, understood that we uh, uh don't have a label to release our new album so we thought that it's better to take a time and uh, look around maybe to find the proper way to release the album the album and um, actually only in 2020 at the beginning of the year we found the uh, hammer heart records and we talked uh, about possibility to release the album there actually even we 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 discussed and we had a confirmation with the label and uh, we uh, signed the contract but then corona corona actually covid uh, started yeah and it stopped everything in the world and uh, our cooperation was labeled as well as well yeah yeah so uh we talked with label first of all it was just like a delay for a couple of months but then uh the owner told us that maybe alex we will skip our cooperation for a year on or two maybe and uh we don't know we will see so no new signing at all so we will release only a back catalog and we will release only bands that was already signed for the label so stuff like that and we decided that no need to wait more and just uh, decide to release our album with health serpent music and actually we'll see we'll see what happened next we, we, we had a couple of proposals from another labels but it was it, it was not so good for us you know we we thought a lot about it and uh, decided that helpers health serpent is the best option f as, as for now so we'll see okay so it was more about uh, more because of label issues or it was because of uh the arrangements the studio and uh, all that stuff both i guess so one side is just a, a studio and uh, just we yeah spent more time that we expected and second time is uh, looking for a label and okay we promotion. will talk about the label lately and uh skit and topic uh why did you choose it uh you know uh last album that was released in 2015 uh once upon, upon a chaos. Chaos. once upon a chaos yeah we uh, uh we made a video video we made a shooting uh of uh the opener of the album uh, feels track track mm -hmm. feels called feels we uh, made a video on uh island hortica Hortica is uh, island in, inside the city, our native city, Zaporozhye, 
and there is a special location. It's an old uh, cemetery. Not actually cemetery. It's like a lapidarium. You know what I mean? So the uh, it's like a burial uh, complex, as I know. Yes, K kind kinda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like a monument uh, now. So there is a lot of ancient stones, and actually there's there, there is a very beautiful and special place for us because Hortice is a national museum. Yeah, in Ukraine. So. Uh, there is a lot of historical uh, things happen and uh, for a fields we choose the place called Sifian Stam actually yeah and uh, there is a round of stones and uh, it looks very beautiful as for me and uh, had a lot of meanings and uh, uh, historical moment so uh, we made a video there and uh, just uh, thought about it was good to make a full story about the scenes that happened on Hortisa on Skithian Sam and we uh, talked a lot with the guys from museum actually and there's our friends they helped a lot with um, some stuff for the video and uh, for uh, some shooting with a helicopter you know just so uh, that how idea came to our my our mind and uh, okay so it's only because of this uh, uh, let's say ancient burial complex on Hortica. yes it's, it's yes, because of just, this and the history of the silent maybe we just we just uh, you know mm, me and uh, our vocalist lived in Kiev now, in the uh, capital of the country, yeah, but our native city is Zaporozhye. So we thought and we talked a lot that when we came, uh, when we come to uh, Zaporozhye to see parents, you know, friends and uh, for uh, rehearsals, we uh, love to spend the time uh, on the Hortica because it's a national museum, so it's a huge park and uh, you can just walking around, doing nothing, just feeling relaxed and uh, it was good for us to spend the time there every time when we c come to a native city. So uh, we just combine this combine these two feelings like a feeling special, something special about Skith and Stam and Hortisa and feeling good on this territory and uh, you know the kind of nostalgia maybe of about a native city and our homeland so something about it you know so this so, is done uh, is a concept album yes yes from, from the, the very uh, first song to the till the end it has some story and uh, and uh, it developed step by step thorn by thorn till the end of course it's not so uh, clear, you know, it's not so. Uh, it, I, I, I mean, you know, it's it's not about the motley crew or something like this. So we're not so uh, open for uh, viewers, for our listeners. So it's full of metaphors and full of um, some hidden things, you know. But it's can you please tell uh, about the whole concept of the album? So actually, it's a kind of old story from the graves, you know, from the. Uh, it's uh, about ancient rituals, about ancient tribes, you know, about shamanism. That we have a a lot of these uh, vibes in our music, so it was very close to us, you know, all the old stone that we had there and uh, see there and uh, we like it so we, we, we like the vibes of all Skithian stories and uh, our friends from museum bring us a lot of stuff told, told us about how they uh, you know just a lot of stories about it so and is this homeland so well, we just thought that it will be great if we will talk about it through our music and the first song start with spreading spreading chaos yeah it's called and uh it's talk about the war about the asian tribe that coming to a new place spreading their 
diseases, let's call it like this, and uh, everywhere and try to conquer as much as they can. And uh, that's how Kitans came to Ukraine, as I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Kitans so, were nomads. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's growing, it's growing, and uh, we tell the stories about the internal things. Yeah. So, from conquer to something different, and it's developing and growing to the last track, the testament. And uh, we thought that it will be a great idea to show the uh, Ukraine now through the through this. Uh, 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 lyrics of the testament, uh, so it's like at I, the end. Is it? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, uh, here I want to stop you because uh, I also have a couple of questions about your last track, my testament, mm -hmm. and um, I I will ask him, but uh, a little bit later. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway. Um, mm, what is the connection of the old, ancient and gone Skitans and modern Ukraine now, besides the place? So it's, uh, kind it's, of a, it's a part. Roots. It's a part of. Uh, it's a part of history, as right, I can see. Right. It's kind of roots that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roots and uh, some wipes and rituals so you know that beside the um, ukraine has uh, uh christianity now the main religion now in ukraine yes we have a uh, very very pagan roots so it's kind of okay so it's like a, it's it's actually the skittans is uh, a part of ukrainian roots right, right okay right uh you mentioned that you um, let's say the most uh, not official but the most popular or the most uh, not popular uh, uh, the main religion in ukraine mm -hmm. is uh, christianity mm -hmm. uh, i can't remember actually if it's uh, orthodox or orthodox it, orthodox, orthodox. Right. yeah with not this Sometimes uh, there is a strong anti-religious or should I say anti-monotheistic religious topic in your songs, in your lyrics. I, I'm not talking only about the skit and stamp, but I'm talking about the Helen's lyrics as a whole. Why so? Because we actually... <clears throat> uh, you know... The most lyrics was done by our vocalist, so was written, and uh, we talked a lot, we thought a lot, so we all not very happy about the situation when religion uh, fully. Uh, it's hard to express. So, uh, it's be yeah, yeah, it's, it's better to ha has uh, have. Uh, your own mind, you know, and uh, not to follow the some things that religion religion talk to you. So uh, you know, to, for a better yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, uh, I I see the Poland now, and I don't like when Catholic uh, religion fully control the society and stuff like that. So I'm not happy about it. Uh, we can see in Russia the same situation. It's became more and more stronger, and I don't want to see it in uh, Ukraine. So I don't want to see it in uh, schools, for example, and society. So, um, uh, do you remember the mem from the internet? And it, it describes it's very good. Like a uh, religion is like a penis. So you can have it. You can enjoy it a lot. Yeah, you can be happy you can be happy about it but don't don't, don't show, show it to, to the children, children yeah you know? don't show it so, for me and and don't yes. show it to my children yeah yes yeah, so okay as soon as you keep it f for you only it's mm -hmm. okay but when you try to show it all around i'm not happy about it so you have your own 
moral things and uh, stuff like that. And it's not belongs to religion only. So you you could be a just a straight mind person, uh, clever enough to understand what is good, what is bad. So uh, if we're talking about this, uh, look, uh, I um, I divide the faith. Mm -hmm. and religion because uh, for me faith is uh, something uh, something personal mm -hmm. but religion is uh, a kind of um, is an instrument uh, for the masses uh, in total your lyrics are anti-faith or anti-religion anti-religion definitely yeah okay uh, also, in uh, the song The Movement of the Godless, uh, there is a line, if there is no Satan, there is no God. And as I see it, it's quite a philosophical approach, like uh, you cannot know what is the light if you don't see no shadows. Yeah, Am I right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, you, you should see the another side to understand where you are or something like this. Eh? Yeah. So, it's kind of I think without one you can see the second or, or, or two, you know what I mean, yeah? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. On Skit and Stem you used uh, a lot of uh, folk and tribal instruments, like uh, Joe Harp, there was uh, throat singing, uh, sitar, I'm sure I missed something. Uh, how does the idea of merging these instruments with uh, extreme music like the death metal that you play, uh, how does this idea born and uh, how are you merging this? Mm -hmm. Can you explain the whole process? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, when we worked over The Hunt, it was the fourth album, and it was 2012, so 2013. Uh, we understood that the uh, when we played on rehearsal studio, the biggest success with the composing we got when we have some kind of um, shamanism i don't know how uh, how how to explain you know uh, we just play and sometimes it's like whoop and you feel something so we play just the riffs we play the new songs and uh, uh we feel special vibes that happening in the room so uh we thought a lot about the processes and how it's going you know and uh, it's kind of magic i don't know how to explain it and uh we thought that mm, it's special feeling when you try to create something new and uh it's kind of shamanism happening in a studio and then we moved on and we thought that on the stage you feel the same so sometimes it's working sometimes it's not so we played a lot yeah in ukraine abroad in europe and sometimes it works and you feel just you know full of full of feelings of happiness and satisfaction and the connection with the people so just special vibes in the club and the venue venue and uh, so uh the the clue is uh shamanism something about it yes yeah, so and uh, our vocalist is uh, a big fan of the ethnic music and uh, we thought that maybe uh, some kind of instruments like a uh, drimba or sitar or throat voice can uh, bring these feelings to our music more that we uh, have so it was like a, just a first step 
how it's happening and uh, on the uh, fifth album when we start to work over the um, once upon a chaos it was like um, a joke uh, the track feels uh, on the studio uh, we called like a mosquito massacre because it has some moment in the end when we play just one note like it's with the tremolo in the end yeah yeah, yeah. in the end I'm bam, bam. <laughs> so it was funny because it uh, sounds like mosquito but you play one note and we have some uh, drum over it and uh, you know just like a kind of trance yeah for musicians so it's very special and then some uh, riffs heavy riffs uh, is coming forward so uh, we understood that it's better to fill up our, mu uh, our music with some special instrument that helps us to describe the special feeling of trance of shamanism it's and you know it's um, very easy to come to some ethnic things to tribal things through it so it's so we, it's happened like this so we we try to use a bit of sitar a, a bit of drimba a bit of uh, goat pipe on these songs and we just moves moves um uh forward with it and uh when we released finally the fifth album we understood that we love to play the song that have this special feelings and instruments inside so on this album on you on the current one current one we are uh, just uh, bring a lot of it so uh, it started with uh, using a lot of drums a lot of you know violins sitar as well and drimba and goat pipes it's a lot of instruments and we use uh, acoustic guitar and uh, chore as well so you, you know just like a it, it's a natural development of what we have feeling about music so something about shamanism trance and uh, stuff like that yeah also my question was uh, I, i'm really curious about it because uh, uh, technically uh, how do how does this happen like uh, okay in this song in this part we should use uh, drimba or we should use uh, the god pipe or it's only experimenting uh, you know it's uh, kind of magic you know sometimes you just have idea uh, mm, there is a uh, one track uh, from the previous album is called curse of flesh um, so uh, when I heard the main riff and uh, actually the track was almost done I just had idea had idea that it should be uh, very small bells over it and uh, I saw some video I don't remember about traveling about Tibet Tibet you know the mountains and stuff like that so it was the funeral uh, ceremony there and they use this small bells over it yeah so i just thought several times that wow it was it would be great if if we win if we can uh, just add some of uh, this funeral small bells from tibet to the thorn and when it was done actually yeah i was so happy so it was like a full satisfaction about this track so when we made the new tracks for the uh Thkisi and Sam, uh sometimes i just heard the uh special things over every track some of things have happened from another guy so for example for a testament for a testament uh exactly the song started from this uh, spelling by Bogdan Stupka of the Zapovit. Yeah. So when he uh, talks, uh, when he uh, actually spelling the lyrics, the of song. I, I'm I'm sorry, as I can mm -hmm. remember, the song continues with uh, like it, it's the English part, and then yeah. it's spoken word of Ukrainian part. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But uh, uh, originally, the idea was uh, over this spelling, uh, the, the lyrics uh, by Bogdan Stupka. So it was main idea. So I was just, uh, you know, um, um, how to say, uh, mad about this idea to bring it to the music. So, yeah, and when it started, we thought that how we can bring some Ukrainian lyrics to the metal track, to death metal, and it was going, 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 move with uh, uh, um, over this main idea. So it, how it looks like, yeah. So you catch up some uh, idea of a specific or exact instrument or exact feeling or exact um, lyric, and then it's going on. Okay. At the same time. Uh your story about uh, first of all it's very impressive and uh, secondly the story about uh, uh, Tibetan bells that you told it I think you already heard it but uh, heard these things but uh, it's uh, it remind me uh, uh, Sepultura's roots Album. Mm -hmm. They recorded the music with uh, with the instruments, but it was in Bra uh, it was in their home country. Um, now, as I can see, there is a let's call it a trend for uh, the merging of uh, music of the home country and uh, metal music. Uh, like the Who, if you know, it's mm -hmm. uh, there are Mongolians, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. or alien weaponry that uh, are New Zealand's with uh, all the hacker stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I hope I, I don't, I, I say it, uh, I say it right. Uh, <clears throat> but you use uh, not only. Ukrainian instruments. You use the instruments that more uh, that sounds more uh, Orient, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, more tribal. Not uh, it's not Ukrainian instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because of uh, because of shamanism that you talked about, or uh, it's like. Uh, uh, the Ukrainian music is not so fit to your ideas. Hard to say, you know. Uh, uh, every day you just uh, receive a lot of information from the from the world. Yeah, some television you so you so you see, and the music you hear, and uh, everywhere. So uh, we just receive it. And then we try to, you know, play music and uh, something going through you to your music. And uh, maybe we just don't care what kind of instrument you use. It just have to help you just uh, uh, the make a line, you know, for your music with a special vibe, special feeling about it. So nothing about it so we, we just use a lot of things that helps us to to create, your, to create your own yeah. music and your yeah. express, express your own feelings okay so yeah, yeah just a, a small thing you know uh, a year ago I saw the interview of Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin you know uh, for some I, I have no idea what it was a, 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 anyway so he took the small drum i don't know even how it's called so he he just played a short melody but you know i have a goosebumps you know on my skin you know it was so cool and so unusual for me so uh, i just thought that it was great to use a such a drum somewhere in our music and when our second guitar player tony told me you know i have a great library 
of the samples of African uh, drums. So four gigabytes of something. So great, great. You just we, we can take something that we need for our music and we will go forward with the different other different scenes. For a fifth album, we had our um, uh, friend there, like a um, special guest is Taras Bielka, and he had uh, about 30 unique Ukrainian uh, Asian instruments. It's kind of pipes and uh, something with strings and uh, something looks and sounds like violin and uh, different things. So flute, like Ukrainian style and stuff like that. So, but we are Wonder, not... Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but we, we are not focused only uh, on Ukrainian tradition. We would like to use them more more instruments more special things to yeah to develop our feelings about our music so first of all we try to impress ourselves and stuff, stuff like that. that yeah wow great the last song on skit and stump is my testament uh, yeah. for non-ukrainian listeners uh, i'll exp uh, i'll try to explain uh, the lyrics of this uh, song uh, were written by Taras Shevchenko and uh, this poem, uh, the Povit, is uh, significant for Ukraine and for uh, Ukrainian people as a whole. Uh, why did you choose this poem to finish your album? Uh, uh, logically, it uh, was good finish for our story about Keith and Stump. So it was started from the old tribes and the, uh, their wars, their rituals. And uh, logically, it comes to the situation uh, where Ukraine is now. So we thought that it will be a good idea to take some uh, great lyrics and, uh, you know, it's really hard to say. You know, it was idea to bring something from the very old to the very new, but of course the testament, uh, like it's a po poem itself, it's not very fresh, of course, it's, but it shows how the Ukraine feeling now as for me yeah you know that there is we're talking about war and this situation yes and, 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 that, yes, and like that's this. and that's the sorrow because this poem was written in the middle of uh, 19th century I think it was uh, 1851 or mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that forgive me I, can, I can't remember it now it was uh, like 20 years ago when I uh, when I learned about Shevchenko uh, but the but the sorrow of the situation that this poem like you say it's kind of actual now in 21st yeah. century yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway uh, how does Shevchenko Shevchenko's poem uh, about Ukrainians, about uh, fighting, about uh, uh, being free, about Ukrainian nature. How does this connect to the Skitian topic? Uh, you know that uh, Shevchenko, Taras Shevchenko was uh, several times on uh, uh, Hortitsa, so he spent a lot of time in Zaporozhye and uh, traveled uh, Hortica as well. So on the Hortica, on the island actually, we have even a special uh, place like a Taras uh, track. So it's uh, uh, some special route with the stones, with the poems of the Taras Shevchenko. So when you, when you can come to the Hortica, you see the siege. It's a complex of Cossacks, uh, Asian Cossacks, uh, 
kind of city you know wooden city and uh, you have the special route for Shevchenko with these stones so it's more uh, the one of the most most touristic places so uh, I'm talking about that Shevchenko spent a lot of time on the Hortica and uh, uh, the stones with his poems uh, had some mention mentions uh, in in his poems about the Hordice as well so for us it's very was very logical to finish the story about the Hortica about the place where uh, Skiffy and Stam spent their time with the lyrics of Taras Grigory Shevchenko so it's kind of special stone in the end you know it's carved in stones like his lyrics carved in stones on Hortica and uh, the rituals where Skiffians uh, started on the Hortica, so there was a lot of stones, kind of it, and uh, we have a special feeling about the exact uh, poem, about the situation in Ukraine now, about being free, about war and stuff like that, so for us it was very logical to finish with this track and with, uh, with, with this, this lyric. lyric. Okay. Uh, at the same time, uh, you weren't you weren't afraid because, uh, like I said, uh, this poem is very significant, and uh, let's say not everyone can accept uh, can accept this poem in the form that you deliver it. Uh, like uh, you should not take this holy poem and uh, merge it with uh, your unholy death metal. Uh, you weren't afraid uh, of this, or it was, uh, or it was okay. You know, it's just a, it's uh, just a matter of uh, point of view. Yeah, so. For us, it's rather logical to use in, in our context, in our music. So for us, it was okay, totally okay. And uh, first of all, we are feeling that we have to use uh, exact lyrics for our songs. So as I told you, it was started from uh, uh, Bogdan Stupka. And when I saw the video and he uh, uh, spelling there the, the lyrics of testament I just was stoned was with goosebumps and I thought that we should use it and uh, it was how it started and then we just think that let's use the original lyrics for these tracks and uh, we just I uh, will take the translation by join where and it will it will be death metal it will be death metal it will be okay with us so we like it and uh, we just don't care if people don't like it uh, i mean that it's not only the matter of you like it or you not like it it's uh, it's more the matter like uh, the matter of uh, mm, you should not use some lyrics because it's uh, like i said it's holy uh, no, we don't care as you as you know so yeah and religion is uh, one of the no i mean no i mean holy i mean so... i mean holy it's, yes yes it's, like, know, a, it's like it's like it, it, it means it means a lot and it's uh, and whoa it's zapavit from Taras Grigorievich oh. Shevchenko, like, how dare you? How dare you? And uh, and all the stuff. No, it's a uh, part of my story, part of my Ukraine, how I feel, how I see it, so I can use it like any Ukrainian guy can use it in his creation. So, why not? Why not? Great. No, really, great. Uh, okay, uh, a kind of irrelevant question for now, but uh, I hope the situation will change. So, uh, how do you see uh, 
your live performance with uh, your new album and the uh, Rose Kitian concept? Uh, you know, it's hard to say now because, uh, yeah, no live concerts at all. I know, for myself. And uh, we're not sure how it will be in the, even next year. But uh, we will see, we have some ideas. Uh, maybe, maybe you saw we uh, last year we were nominated as the best metal Ukrainian metal act and we had a show in uh, Capital here in uh, Kiev in uh, Bingo venue and uh, we use the guys who helped out on a stage with uh, some drum kids so uh, we uh, played two songs from the upcoming album uh, and it was good uh, experience so we have some decoration there we have some uh, kind of stones that we uh, Replicant, of course, not original stones from, but it looks like uh, stones from the Skithian sound we put on the stage yeah, and two guys with, a, with a, some hoodie, you know, playing drum kits uh, with us. So it was very, very funny. And uh, uh, I suppose that we will uh, continue these ideas. Uh, we will develop this idea. Maybe we will bring it somehow to the stage. We will see, depends on the situation and uh, with the COVID and stuff like that so anyway uh, we try to use uh, samples as well on the stage we use a computer because yeah really we have a lot of effects on uh, on the albums that uh, we will ask our laptop to help us to play yeah and maybe some other musicians so it depends on the shows so we will see. Yeah, we had some ideas uh, and we had some experience last year, so we will see. We will see. Yeah, so I'm. I asked more about the mm. decoration and how will you express uh, your uh, your concept with uh, uh, not not only with the music but with the decorations and uh, and everything. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure it will be uh, uh, like uh, King Diamond has. Yeah, so on the stage with the cemetery and stuff like that, but maybe with elements. But mostly, mostly, I still think that let's music speaks itself itself. So we will have some elements of decoration, maybe, and uh, special guest on the stage. But mostly, let music speaks. Great. Uh, in a bowl. Uh, I'm not talking only about now because now it's uh, tough times for all of us, uh, like you as musician, uh, for us as fans. Uh, how is it to be a metal musician in Ukraine? Not so easy, uh, yeah, but in the same time, I. I think you know I'm cannot compare it with somebody's because I'm feeling pretty well I guess you know uh, yeah let's make ma make it easy you know when we started in 2000 2000 I don't know when I start to play guitar maybe in 90s yeah in 90s uh, you try to I'm try to impress everybody around me you know uh, with you techniques do... you mean yes yes mostly <laughs> mostly so you play some special things like uh i don't remember it's bumble flight or something it's, it's a fly so... or bumblebee yeah yeah fly fly or bumblebee so you play yeah very very fast and stuff like that so it's like to joey the mayor manual yeah 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 so i played <laughs> the same on the guitar it was uh, in a in a university time or something like this so anyway uh but now i'm almost 40 and i'm uh, try to impress myself first of all yeah and i'm just happy to feel something about uh so we, you know we, we in a band we're kind of family so we spend uh almost 20 years together and uh you know kind of family so we try to enjoy every moment and tour that we have you know we have a special 
especially on the day off we we try to find some special place maybe in a forest a small village here without uh, a lot of people without crowds when you can uh, where you can just uh, talk to each other, drink some beer or wine and uh, walking through forests to the lakes maybe and stuff like that. So to make it special, you know, not a daylight, the day, day uh, life routine or something like this. So in, in this case, I guess I'm uh, fully satisfied with the position of metal musician now in Ukraine because I can enjoy I can enjoy music that I, we are doing and uh, it's totally okay so we have another equipment and technical things to play our music we have a special place in Zaporozhye we have our rehearsal studio we have some time for it so why I should feel unhappy so it's okay it's okay if we're talking about the government and their position and the Ukraine uh, no no no, no. Like I, mean, country, I, so. I mean I mean uh, I try not to talk about politics with the music or music with the politics. I know that sometimes it's impossible, but uh, okay, at least I tried. Um, mm -hmm. What I uh, what I said that uh, you are not living from the music. Not of course. Sorry, just my battery is low. Yeah, no, it's okay. Now. Uh... Yeah, it's not, not, not. Yeah. So yeah, it's music is a very expensive hobby. Yeah, yeah, very expensive hobby. But you know, why not? So this the things that makes you happy. So why not? I'm a crazy fisherman, for example. So I enjoy it a lot. I spend a lot of time with the rivers, with the fish, you know, so why not, so somebody prefer hunting or, I don't know, dancing or just drinking a lot, so why not music? Or doing interviews. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not, why not. It's... Okay, a little bit trivial question, how long, like you and how long as well, you played with... Uh a couple of famous musicians. Which band you need to share stage uh, and uh, and say after this concert, Thank our you. dreams came true, which band it, it will be? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Something comes uh, from your childhood, you know. When I was uh, maybe 20, I thought that it would be great to make uh, some and when I try to play my music, composing something, I, I thought that it would be great to uh, play with uh, know, Sepultura. And once we had Andreas Kisser, a special guest, guest on, uh, on, uh, on one of our tracks. So I thought, oh, with a high stop that we can, can reach or something. But uh, now it's not so necessary for me i guess you know uh, of course of course it, it was a big pleasure for us last year we had a small tour here in ukraine with rotting christ and uh, we just enjoyed a lot yes and uh, it was great and i i thought that yeah it's it's really cool to repeat it again and uh, yeah why not so the bands like rotting christ maybe we played couple of times with septic flesh i like actually uh greece um metal thing yeah i, I like the music they produced and uh, oh of course it's a po polish metal stage i like i like uh, vader we we played also and uh, behemoth and uh, decapitated and hate and uh, uh you know in 2007 we played on a festival here in kiev with the creator from germany and we were impressed with the, what they're doing on stage with everything you know started from their crew working on a stage and uh, the musicians and uh, 
once we played with uh, Megadeth on the Beck Festival in the Poland, it was it was Metal Fest on 2012. So we played, and um, I thought maybe you know Metallica or Slayer is at the at the, at the end of this uh, uh, top top of the, but now it's not so you know necessary i don't know i i like i like to play with rotting christ i like to play with the uh, septic flash i would like to pray but play with the uh, death of chuck schrodinger of course it's not possible but you know for, for me it's much more better than the some biggest 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 names you know so uh i prefer the morbid angel maybe the nile maybe hamill okay um, but vader yeah, but uh, but every name you said, uh, except of death, of course, uh, like it's, I see it as it's totally possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's totally okay for, for us. So why not? Yeah. I okay, great. Thanks. And I almost forgot. Uh, Skit and Stun will be released on uh, Hell, Serpent, Hell Serpent Music. Yeah. Uh, why did uh, you choose this label? And uh, why was it so important for you to release the album on the label and not to make it self-release? Like many bands mm -hmm. do now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, the, uh, the answer is it's a label uh, uh, that we made made actually for this release. Ah, oh, so okay. actually, yeah, it's uh, we 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 can call it self release because it's uh, uh, my idea to produce it by myself because if not hammer hard, <laughs> hard. So let's let's that, make that's it. What, that's why I I tried I tried my best and I can't found find nothing about this label except yeah, the yeah. name like it, it was uh, wait wait what what is it what what, what the f is it where is it I, I need some something yeah. like Facebook page yeah. or, or something okay great great yeah. so uh, okay uh, so uh, but if you already established the label uh, it, it's not the some one album thing you or or is it or you will release some other albums not only skit you know, and stam you know who knows you know, we we made it because uh, there was no any chance for us to release this album this year and uh, after hammer Heart, we thought that there is not necessary to wait more to looking for something more so let's do it because this albums belongs to this year and we already have some new ideas musical ideas that we can uh, do on the next album so let's finish with Keith and Stam let's release it how we can release it and let's move move on so um, I don't know about the future of this label we will see so but who knows you know now the whole world faced with new reality with this covid situation so um i talk a lot with the friends who are related to music industry in ukraine and in europe and nobody knows what to expect so who knows maybe our next album will be released with hell serpent music or maybe um, situation will change with hammer heart i don't know or maybe i don't know Maybe tomorrow, you know, Napalm Records or <laughs> Roadrunner or Nuclear Blast will, Blast will call me, yeah, and um, will hey, it's propose it's something. Pos it's possible because, uh, as you mentioned, Napalm Records, they at least they signed pretty much Ukrainian bands, like yeah, 1914 yeah. or even yeah, yeah. Space of Variations or, or something yes. like this. Yeah. Okay, and... The last one. Uh, what are you, as a part, as part of the band, and you as a band? What are you dreaming about? 
<sighs> you know yeah in uh you know l l let's let's divide it from the my personal things like uh uh human beings so i would like to be a health you know me and my family during this uh hard time so of course it's not necessary to mention but as a musician i would like to s uh, i would like to bring more and more albums so you know doing till the till the end yeah uh playing the shows touring of course over europe and uh you know nothing special yeah just doing our music and uh spread it worldwide and uh enjoying the concerts we play and uh music we do so nothing special just uh the same like we're doing now actually yeah it's the same like we're doing now so spend the times with along with the guys who are on the, in the tour bus and the concerts in the different countries and doing our music and growing like some musicians uh, growing as uh, composers maybe and yeah the same scenes nothing special i don't want to be you know a uh, superman to play and i you know i don't know it's okay if what we have now and we just would like to continue doing it and it's okay great i know i i see that you are not, not satisfied with my answer so. no no because um uh, i am satisfied because uh, it's not that i was uh, expected for uh, for something else but on the other hand uh, the first thing that i expected was the honest answer and uh, your answer is uh, as honest as it could be yeah so yeah. thank you for the interview thank you for your answers you. it was a very big and very interesting conversation uh good luck with your label thanks <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh all right in uh, in six days ski chance time will be released yeah so yeah. When, so good luck with screening the chaos thanks thanks for the conversation thanks for this interview Keep metal. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexei Pasko from Helon. Okay, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye.